this will be just kind of a general overview of the different menus that you have uh, on the 3500 controller. So the menu button's down here where the SEC is. We've done one on the uh, gas system gas monitor, the graphing, also the first responder. We've showed power off. But actually, when you ever you make a change, you'll always want to do this power off. So then the um, HMI panel will remember um, all its configuration settings. And then um, as it reboots, it gives you the option to just restart. So it just goes back to the normal operating mode. So if you do make any changes, um, you'll always want to shut it down and restart it. Then you'll have to go back and log in again. To get to the all the other menus. So select screen. This allows you to go and select basically the overview screen. So we have alarm summary. Um, you have bus, so that's all your detectors that are on there. It also um, provides you the option to set all the clocks inside of the detectors. So what this does is it um, sets all the clocks, because we have real-time clocks in all the gas detectors, to the same clock time and date of the uh, HMI controller. So it just goes through and it resets them all so that then they will all match up. Um, we don't have anything in other. We do have the manual uh, discovery device. This is where you go in basically on a new system or if you're going to add detectors to an existing system you punch in the ID number that you want to start with to search and then you'll press in the ending ID if you want to search a group of numbers and then you just um, select your auto online so it'll automatically bring it online and teach your begin and it'll search and it'll find uh, the detectors that you look for. It will also give you the recording down here. It found ID number one and it didn't find zero detectors. So we only searched for that one and it found it. So you just press back to main for getting back to your main menu structure. Uh, supervisor, you know, we also have the restart. Otherwise you can go back. Supervisor menu uh, gets you into more of the configuration of the system. Um, we'll go on this one more because it's uh, more involved, but global reset is off or on and your selection can be uh, simply enabled by pressing on there. And what that does, the global reset feature, it enables you to reset any latching relays in the system by um, pressing the reset relay button icon when it appears here after you have an alarm and something's latched up. So um, we also have the capability of deleting devices from here. I don't want to delete them, but um, if you do press delete now, it's going to delete every detector, every relay module, every sensor that's on the system. And then you're going to have to reprogram all the relays. The IDs and everything will stay the same, but you just have to reprogram the relay modules. So I really don't want to do that feature now. That's kind of your last resort if you have problems with the system is to delete all the sensors. Um, auto discovery, uh, you can enable it by pressing the button either on or off. Uh, when it's on, the HMI panel is continuously looking for new gas detectors on the system. So if you add gas detectors to the system, um, it's just going to automatically pick them up. So you don't have to go back and manually search for those detectors. And then if we go back up to configuration, uh, through this menu structure, you can add an IP address to the uh, HMI panel. The HMI panel has an Ethernet port on the back side of the panel. So 
you get with your IT person to program in the IP address, the gateway, and then um, save those changes. After you program them in, you just press on the button and enter all the correct information, and then you would save changes, and that would reboot the panel. The next one in configuration is setting the time and date. You set the time and date of the uh, HMI panel from this screen, so you just press on it until you get the correct date and then you either raise it, lower it, you know, do whatever you need to do to get the right time and date in, press enter, and then also the time if you want to. You just need to get the keypad up and select enter and then just cursor around and make the correct time and date uh, adjustments. And then go back to main screen and you'll see the time and date also displayed down here on the panel. Supervisor menu, uh, screensaver. This is an important one. Um, the timeout for the screensaver. Uh, typically, you'd want to max that out to be the 300 seconds. Um, that'll give you enough time to go through the uh, menus and, and see what's going on, as opposed to having the 60-second timeout. And the max is the 300. Set project title. This allows you to type in anything into the header of the main screen. You'll see it's labeled training videos. That's also displayed right up here. So whatever you want displayed there is what you want to type in for the um, set the project title. More will get you into, um, I guess, some more programming features. We've done the data logging already. StatCast is another uh, device or another output that we have. The HMI 3500 panel has an RS-232 output which uh, can continuously broadcast information in an ASCII code. So if you wanted to hook up to that, you would have to enable it and then wire into the HMI panel. So it's enabled, so now it would be continuously broadcasting out. Uh, we have data logging. The first responder, what this is, is how, how the system monitor actually boots up. So right now it boots up with it enabled. And we'll disable that because we want to boot up into the main screen. And then um, this is mainly for um, our in-house use. So we don't really uh, encourage customers to go through that, those menu structures. That's pretty much it as far as how the menus are covered throughout the HMI panel.